Hello, I'm Milan. I've been a driving instructor for 26 years and for the last 22 years I've been training people to become driving instructors. I've also co-produced and written training material that's used by driving instructors and learners across the UK. Today's video is about observation on approach to mini roundabouts. So the common problems associated with observation at mini roundabouts are number one, hesitation. That's when it's completely safe to go and learners are stopping instead of proceeding onto the roundabout. Number two is pulling out at the roundabout and making an oncoming vehicle either slow, stop or swerve. So the two main errors causing these problems are number one, not looking early enough on the approach to the mini roundabout, starting the observation way too late. The second problem is misjudging the speed and the activity taking place on the roundabout as they approach. So the solution to the late observation is to begin to take quick glances ahead and to the right as your zone of vision improves on the approach to the mini roundabout. So one of the solutions to the judgment is to look for gaps in between the vehicles, but not the vehicles themselves. And ask yourself if you would walk across in that gap. And if you would walk across, then it's safe to go. So a useful phrase to help you remember that is walk across, drive across. The second solution to judgment at mini roundabouts is to look for opportunities. These opportunities can be from vehicles that are leaving at the exit that you're waiting on or for traffic coming from other directions which prevent the traffic from your right emerging onto the roundabout. We call that vehicle a blocker. So let's go for a drive. I'm gonna be demonstrating the solutions that we just talked about. I'm gonna be wearing a camera on my head, uh, which will give you the driver's viewpoint. So you'll be able to see when I'm looking and what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm approaching a mini roundabout and on this video, I'm gonna show you when and how I start observing. Okay, so as my zone of vision opens, I'm starting to look ahead and take quick glances to the right. As I approach, I'm looking deeper and deeper into the road. I'm still looking at where I'm going in case that pedestrian walked out in front of me. And then I'm driving away. So as I approach this roundabout, I'm starting to take glances to the right and ahead. I'm looking for a gap where I could walk across. I'm looking ahead to see if I've got a blocker. I have got a gap where I can walk across so I can go. I'm going to be turning left again at this roundabout. So I'm starting to look to the right and ahead. I'm taking quick glances down the side of this grey vehicle in front of me. I'm looking ahead to check my lane and I'm looking for a gap that I could walk across or a blocker coming from the left which might prevent the traffic from the right pulling into the roundabout. And I can't actually see at the moment so I'm not going to take a risk and pull out. I need to make sure I've got a clear zone of vision. I could walk across now, so I'm going to go. Another mini roundabout. I'm going to be turning right. So I'm taking quick glances ahead and to the right. I can walk across because there's a nice big gap. So I'm going. There's another roundabout coming up. And again, I'll be turning right. So as I come in, I'm looking ahead at my lane and I'm checking to the right. I'm looking for a gap. Can I walk across? No. I could walk across after this black car, so I'm going to emerge now. The van was turning left, which also gave me an opportunity to go. I've got another roundabout coming up. I'm going to be following the road ahead. Now there's a lot of vehicles oncoming, which potentially are blockers for me. So I'm going to be checking ahead and to the right. I do have a gap where I can walk across and I've got a blocker just in case that vehicle was turning right, he would have been prevented by the oncoming traffic. So just a quick recap on today's drive. You would have seen me looking early as my vision started to open up 
and I'm taking quick glances as I'm approaching the roundabout. At the same time, I'm looking for gaps to proceed. I'm not looking for vehicles, I'm looking for gaps where I could walk across the road based on the speed that I was coming in at. And at the same time, I'm looking for opportunities. So I'm looking ahead or looking in other directions for blockers, or I'm looking for vehicles that are taking the exit that I'm emerging from. The thing to take away from this is that all three strategies are being used at the same time. So that's the end of today's video. Please keep checking back on the channel because there's new videos being uploaded all the time.